welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is episode number 10 of the bonus beginner series and in this video we are going to import the animations that we downloaded uh, you know uh, in the last video we are going to import those animations and we are going to uh, like set them up inside of unreal engine so inside of my content folder i'm going to right click and create a new folder called uh, um, let's call it uh, mesh okay and in here i'm going to right click and hit import now just uh, go ahead and uh, you can see I've already opened up my uh, beginner folder here uh, you know the actual folder and this is where I downloaded my assets yesterday I'm going to select both of uh, I'm going to actually select the running one first and I'm going to hit open and uh, I'm going to choose the skeletal mesh and import the mesh as well so there are a bunch of options here you want to make sure that you have got these two ticked uh, and import mesh and skeletal mesh and then make sure you open import animations check as well and uh, uh, just hit import all right uh, so yeah just wait for it to import okay just uh, turn this off and i'm going to save everything then i'm going to go ahead and uh, once it finishes saving the assets actually uh, then i'm going to go ahead and open up the running animation uh, now this is the actual mesh not the animation by the way and uh, if i go ahead and select this and then go under animation you can see that the animation is playing perfectly on this character uh, i'm going to rename this from uh, running to enemy and running animation to enemy running okay and then i'm going to change this to enemy physics assets just change all of the runnings to enemy so we have got running skeleton i'm going to change this to enemy skeleton then you can leave all of the material stuff as is and uh, uh, we are also going to hit right click and hit import and just import uh, uh, the other animation which is the elbow punching animation and make sure that you don't choose skeletal mesh or uh, you don't choose import mesh in here so you don't want to import a mesh and you just select enemy skeleton as the default skeleton and hit import all right once you do that you can see we have got the animation but uh, still uh, you know uh, we have got so this is the mesh and the animation is playing on basically the same mesh which is which is awesome uh, yeah pretty 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 cool so now uh, what we want to do is uh, uh, basically import the idle animation as well which I think I uh, actually did not download so yeah just go ahead and import that animation as well uh, uh, so that you have got all your three animations complete Alright, so here I have imported the idle animation as well inside of my game here and if I can actually close this window and I'm going to just rename this idle from, from mutant idle to just uh, I guess like enemy idle uh, alright that's better and uh, we have got elbow punching here but I'm going to rename this to enemy punching so yeah just rename this to enemy punching and now we have got all of our animation setup that belong to a single uh, you know mesh so I'm going to open up this mesh and I'm going to go under animation and you can see here we have got a bunch of different animations we can choose punching or idle or like that which looks I guess pretty cool or you can choose running yeah all of them look awesome so uh, now I want this enemy to actually be appearing in the actual enemy blueprint so I'm going to open up my blueprint and I'm going to open this enemy thing up uh, and uh, just wait for it to load and once it has done that I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, uh, the cylinder and I'm also going to delete this square now in here you can see we have already got a character mesh zero inherited which uh, I'm going to select and I'm going to go under the skeletal mesh and instead of this I'm going to just choose enemy now if I do that you can see it kind of looks a bit uh, kind of not so uh, uh, you know a kind of a bit weird so I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees on the z-axis so that it's facing the right way actually negative 90 okay then I'm going to uh, decrease its location on the z-axis until it's uh, around at the right place uh, so yeah you can see that this is a kind of uh, uh, you can basically you know change it until it looks good enough yeah uh, okay uh, let's see that that that's pretty awesome maybe one more or two more yeah I'm going to actually choose minus 80 uh, minus 85 let's choose my I'm going to just choose minus 87 
and that looks awesome and now if i go ahead and look at this enemy you can see it looks uh, kind of great and you can see that this has got everything set up and uh, obviously uh, it currently does not display the animations we have not set them up yet but if i go ahead and hit play uh, the enemy should be appearing correctly and you can see he does uh, even though it's looking kind of weird i have to admit that it's it's looking a kind of a bit too small uh, we are going to make this enemy a bit larger and uh, let's do that now so yeah basically i have adjusted the size to make it a little larger the it's now 1.1 in size and i've also adjusted the capsule to match and it looks better but uh, now obviously what we need to do is we need to actually make it so that you know this enemy uh, plays the animations now in order to do animations in unreal engine what you use is something called the animation blueprint now for the blueprint i'm going to uh, actually just go ahead and open up my mesh folder and i'm going to uh, add the blueprint in here but before i do that uh, i'm going to actually just add the blueprint here so uh, but if you have got like multiple meshes then you might want to split them and uh, split each uh, you know mesh and its related stuff into uh, uh, different folders so just go under animation and in here choose animation blueprint now once you do that just uh, choose uh, uh, the enemy skeleton as a skeleton and hit uh, ok and just name this to uh, uh, enemy underscore animation blueprint so just say enemy underscore animation blueprint and I'm going to open this up and uh, uh, in here you can see we currently have got nothing now if I actually go ahead and you can see here but and we have got uh, basically uh, it's like blueprint but it's obviously different because this is for animation and in here we have got an output pause which determines basically the final uh, you know uh, way that the mesh is looking you know the final position of the bones uh, after we have done up the um, processing but uh, this currently has gotten hooked up to nothing which means that our enemy is just in the default state so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and here and let's say uh play enemy uh let's say play enemy run now if i do that and i compile this you can see that our enemy plays enemy run and if i actually play the game now what you should see is that the enemy actually does not do anything right now go under the actual enemy blueprint and by the way i have increased the height of this for some reason which i did not mean to do uh, i have made it quite a bit higher uh, all right so i'm going to just go ahead and uh, reduce that a bit because that's a bit too large okay 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 uh kind of a bit of a problem here uh i'll have to increase this back to uh, a little bit uh you know kind of at the right place yeah that looks pretty good all right so yeah now we have got that done uh what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and for uh, just select the actual mesh go under animation and for mm, make sure you have animation mode is use animation blueprint and for the animation class just use the enemy anim blueprint that we created and now it actually plays the correct animation and if the game starts you should see that the enemy comes running at us uh not really he's still facing the other place but uh, if i actually go in front of him then he comes running towards me and he attacks me but he's still only playing the running animation which is not so cool so now what we are going to do is we are going to actually like save everything then i'm going to go under my animation blueprint and i'm going to add in a uh let's say a state machine here now this uh, is called i'm going to just call this state machine nothing else now this state machine basically has got a will uh, help us have a bunch of different states in which uh, we you know do stuff uh, and you can see this basically has got a single entry point and if you do that you can go ahead and say add state and for this state you can just basically say uh, let's say idle yeah let, let's actually say idle uh, alright so I'm going to just basically open up that uh, state and f in the output animation pause of the state now we are inside the state here you can basically go ahead and say idle a uh, play enemy idle now if you do that you should see that the enemy is now playing the idle animation but obviously you can change the state machine to make it like whatever you want and then you can basically have states transitioning so yeah so i'm actually going to end this video here because i don't want this to get long so i'm in the next video we'll uh, finish this stuff and we'll learn more about how to use the animation blueprint to set up a fully functional state machine so we'll do that in the next video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one and bye